Right, hello YouTube. <coughs> I am Young Wolfo, and today I'm going to be playing something really different. Um, for anyone who isn't aware, there is a website that is dedicated to the SCP. That is, um, stands for Secure, Contain, Protect, and it's full of fictional horror stories. Well, not horror stories, it's stories regarding the SCP organization and the the creatures and supernatural objects which they have to study and understand. This particular video is about SCP-087 which has been released as a video game. Um, the other name for this SCP is The Stairway. Now the story goes that this stairway is infinite, at least as far as we can tell. It goes down a ludicrous amount of space. And when I go down two flights of steps, I should start to hear a little girl crying. Which, and it'll sound like it's about 200 metres below me. As I move down, the sound will move down with me, so I won't ever get any closer. The idea is that it's trying to draw you in. And at some random point, a face is going to appear that has no nostrils, mouth or pupils. And it's going to stare at me. And after that, I don't know what happens in the game. Now, I thought that it would be interesting to fraps me trying this out. Um, I don't know how brave I'm going to be. I'm sure I'll be fine. This thing could appear in two seconds or it could appear after an hour. There's no way to tell. Uh, so, yeah. Embarrassingly enough, before I can even turn on fraps, the game makes a noise when it starts up. And I've already kicked my pants. So, yeah. So, here we go. Down into the depths of the stairwell and we're looking for a horrible horrible face it can appear behind you as well as far as I know in the story it did it's a little girl screaming I hear like breathing the other thing is oh you know I already feel like shit mm. I feel awful the fact that I'm wearing headphones as well, it's actually night here in Shotland. And there's all sorts of horrible gusty noises and this whole game is just a stairway. And um, you know something's going to get you. Hmm. And I'm doing the gamer thing of always keeping everything in view. So... Yeah, I'm shitting myself. <sighs> Why do I have to do this at night? Uh, uh, yeah. This is me showing that I'm cowardly. Now, uh, is the random nature. There's The thing that frightens you is that there's a threat and you don't know when it's coming. And it's definitely gonna come. It's just completely random. The thing that's bothering me is I don't hear the crying that was in the story. Mm. Right. On YouTube, I'm actually gonna go to the loop right back. Right. Let's see what we go. Like I was saying, the problem with this game is the threat is perceived. And, oh, numbers. So you know how deep I've gone. I hope everyone else is hearing this breathing. It's kind of terrifying. Where are you, face? Face! I'm looking for a face. Oh wow. Oh, right, okay, I clicked away the screen. I'm actually seeing the mouse because this game is made with the Unity engine, which is an open source engine for game developers to use. And I'm really amazed that a free open source engine could make something that looks this good. I mean, this looks like something ripped out of Silent Hill. I mean, I know it's not much, it's a tiny game environment. It's just an a looping single stairway with um, the odd number thrown in. Uh, it's, it is impressive. Yeah. 
eight. The thing is, in the story, one of them got caught after like 36 steps, I think it was, flights of steps. And another person got caught after like 500, so... And there's no run... Oh, there's a jump! Yay! I am a gamer! I leap! And I bound! Can I go down the middle? Shortcut? No. Okay, no shortcuts for me. This breathing is horrible. It's obviously just something that wants to devour my soul. Which is nice. Um, I just realised this video is going to be mostly me talking and not much else until I crap myself when that appears. <sighs> I will admit, I, I'm not easily scared by media. Um, see if I have a game where I have a weapon, I'll just demolish everything, I don't feel any fear. Put me in a situation where I have no weapons and I scream like a little girl. I crap myself. I cannot bring myself to complete Amnesia the Dark Descent purely because I have no way of defending myself. You have to hide. And I am not a natural hider. I'll fight. And not having the ability to fight, it just... It really freaks me out. And I'm getting that feeling here. I'm... Oh shit. Sounds really loud. Okay, the breathing's kind of intermittent as well. It's not steady, it's like... Is that meant to be me? I thought it was meant to be my character, but it's the face falling. I'm just slightly... concerned, you shall see. I um, don't know how long I'm going to have to go down this. I'll keep talking, there's a good chance I'll edit out chunks of video because this is going to get boring quick. And I've already frapsed past the first file, I think. Yep, this fraps splits into four gig chunks. Oh. I heard something different there. I heard a click and headsets so maybe I need to get close. So I've got I was considering not doing this but then I told Rayman forever and he's like, nah you have to do it. So I'll be brave for my audience of like a hundred people. I do this for you, YouTubes. Place my virtual soul on the line. Oh, let's stop for a second. No. Yeah, yeah. Right. Lost sound for a moment in my headset. Right. This is not fun. This is the opposite of fun, this is the not fun. This is scary. How far am I? 19. It's good. It tells me where I am when I ask. That's the, this is a nice SCP. Now, this video is actually going to be one of two. There's another SCP story that I've not read yet about some kind of corridor. And it's also had a game made of it. So, yeah. Any game developers out there, the SCP stories are a ripe source of material for horror content. I'm so glad to slow, but I can't jump! I'm a gamer! I'll just add like Mario, if it appears I'll just try and jump his head. If I, right, if I manage to not freak out, I'm going to try and jump his head. Because I, it's, all it is is like a little white face that's going to appear. Nothing else, no body. Not even a head, it's just like a flat face. But I'm going to try and jump on it like Mario. Because this, this feels like a sewer. I'm not, not a plumber. In, in this game, I'm sure. I'm probably a plumber. Because I'm so happy to go down into this dark tunnel for no reason. The um, thing is, it could appear behind you as well. I'm... God damn it! <sighs> Don't know how long I've been doing this for, actually. I should have set up a timer. Oh. I was coming. I can hear footsteps. Awesome. I feel like not much longer to go. I'm feeling the fear. My head is... You ever get the warm, fuzzy feeling that the hairs raise at the back of your neck? I am so... Oh! So getting that right now. I wonder if I'll appear if I stand still. Imagining that I'm hearing it. 
Very definite footsteps. Okay, shit. Come on, where are you? Demon. Demon of the speed. You're so freaking slow. Rage. I jump on your head. Come on. So I don't know if this is a random encounter or if it's decided when I start the game, you know, maybe when the game generates, maybe when the world starts, it generates a number. And that number is the stairway you're on control. Or it could just be that every time you go down a step you have like a one in a hundred chance of meeting it. See me being a programmer, I wonder about such things. What kind of logic is running here? And it helps prevent me from kicking my pants. Because I'm feeling really uneasy. Really uneasy. I don't know if it's, it seems like the stairway is getting more and more horrible. But that also could just be my mind, because it also doesn't look different, it just seems worse. 30 steps. Okay, we're getting close to where the first story on the SCP happened. Uh, another interesting thing is. Um, I've never had to narrate myself playing a game where I was scared before. I thought it would help, knowing that some people will be seeing this later, but no, it does not help at all. Instead, I feel like a madman just reading the most bullshit. And now I'm seeing things. Okay, so I saw like a flicker at the edge of my eye, and there's the hairs in the back of my neck raising again. This is like psychological bloody warfare because it just doesn't end. I'm probably going to start hallucinating due to sheer repetition. And, uh, it's confession to no. Oh, oh. Right. Come on. Footsteps stopped. That must mean he's nearby. And he's thinking, yep, I'm going to eat him now. Eat me! This game, the objective is essentially to die. I've got to keep walking until I bump into this figure. So, um. Because it said there was a fire button. In the controls it's listed a fire button, but I'm assuming that's like standard Unity fair because I don't seem to have anything. I don't even have as much as a bloody crowbar. Very sense. Okay. I feel like I'm going down the stairs faster now. I also feel like I'm starting to see the game through a fisheye lens. I don't know if is this just me? It, people comment in the video and tell me, am I imagining the fisheye lens event? Because I I feel like the graphics have changed slightly. I definitely feel like the... Oh shit! <sighs> well done game. Shadow... I actually felt like that shadow passed through my physical body. That's how effective that was. I felt it. I saw it come towards me, that shadow, and my knees, and then my chest, my head, I felt the hairs raised. So... That was bloody... Ooh. Right, so where's the face? And I'll bet it's going to be a screamer. Oh, right, okay, okay, check it. Lower volume. Lower volume. Right, right, because if this thing screams, this is night time, and I don't want to wake up my family. <laughs> so... Yeah, this is definitely... There's something weird with the camera. This is... The viewpoint is too wide. It's hard to explain, but it definitely feels too wide. That shadow thing, I don't even know if that was real or saw my head, I want to go back and watch the video. So it happened, probably, I'll mark the next, the next floor, and it's like three floors up from here. So, 42. The meaning of life! I love 42. Hello Douglas Adams. The spirit of Douglas Adams protects me. In Douglas Adams I place my sword. Just trust. So, yeah, three. Have we not gone beyond the realms of Douglas Adams protection now, so be careful. Yeah. Come on, where's that fucking white face? Come on. I really want this game to end. I just want the thing to appear so I can say, yeah, I did it. I did it at night, I did it alone. I've got my mum, my dad, my sister, my dog, everyone's in the house, the fish, the cat. But uh, I'm still terrified. This is one of those things where the irrational side of your brain just starts going, you know, whatever this is going to attack me is going to put the computer screen and eat me. It's going to eat me. 
being made. And that's not good. Right. So we're going downstairs. For something. Did you know what's it? You know what's like carry on. Break over. Right. First time stopped. Oh. There be a tapping. So does this game have a is it random or is it fixed? I mean, I don't know. I don't want to be doing this for 300 odd steps. Oh, oh, crap. Don't click the mouse, because that happens. So I've actually got, my, my gaming PC has two screens, and my other screen is where the mouse is, because otherwise it would be on top of the game and it would just be like a white mouse hovering there. Which would take away from the immersion. So, yeah. Kudos to the development of this game it is psychological warfare. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, that was it. That was it. Okay. That was a real reaction. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is going to be interesting to hear my scared voice because I I don't get scared. I watch all sorts of crap. Like. All sorts of horrible movies, like um, what was it uh, this Japanese movie, Nagani, the Curse, or something, um, which is awesome. Um, you know, and in most horror games, movies, sorry, I don't get bothered with the games where you can't defend yourself, just crap yourself. See Silent Hill, uh, all those kind of games. I just got into balls here because I'm armed, but here, show me a wee shadow. And I'm like, ah! Looks like the one pixelated than others. So beware of War 54, it's pixelated. See, these look like vaguely humanoid shapes, as well as two lines with sort of another line in the middle higher up. And that gives the impression of a, a body as well. Now, the thing is, in SCP stories, those bodies didn't exist. They, they never happened. It was always just a little girl crying in a white face. Hello there! Right, okay, I wasn't scared that time. I think I've got used to them. Right. You know, they kind of remind me a bit of Echo. The, um, the incredible game. Um, one of the first games where I was like, yeah, this is art. And that's hardly an original observation, just what everyone else has said as well. But yeah, I agree. It's, it's definitely art. And I think this game is... Well, obviously it's not very good set. Oh. I see odd pixelation there again. It's on the whole screen actually. So um you know looking over the shapes like that looks humanoid as well. Yeah, they definitely designed this to look like there's a monster in Come on, white face. Already I'm cooked, I'm ready to just freak out. Right, we're gonna zen, zen, zen.
do Tai Chi a few years ago and um, in my head I'm doing four. That's that's my confession. I'm doing Tai Chi in my head to cancel out the negative effects of this game. It's like every shadow, every little bar in the wall is like bloody slender man. Come on, stop it. This is <laughs> Oh, this is like you know that feeling when you turn around in Minecraft and there's a creeper just standing there and it wasn't hissing until you turned around. That's this game feels like I'm perpetually in that state of Minecraft. Ah! Creeper! So and there's no payoff, it's just like constant state of tension. So um where is the thing? See if this game is just Well, that was interesting. Um, well, what happened there was uh, when Face caught me, the game closed down. And the thing with Fraps is, when you stop recording, you lose the last few seconds. So no one will ever get to hear me ask him if he wants to be my friend. But anyway, yep, yeah, that was interesting. Uh, the shadows were more frightening than the thing at the end was. I think by the time I got to him, I had been immunized by the, the freaky as hell shadows. So yeah, that was fun. Um, so I'm planning to do more videos like these in the future where I'm just doing things that I find terrifying. Maybe I can even build up to playing Amnesia. Yay. So anyone's got any suggestions for scary games they'd like me to play, just leave them in the comments or send me a message. Um, if you like this video, then please rate, um, comment, subscribe, like I normally say. Um, it, really is nice to get feedback on videos like this. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Catch us next video.